Well, that sun is just trying to get through right there. It's funny how there's no frost on this. Look. Well, there's frost on this thing right here. Look at that. <coughs> it wasn't just running either. Dodge truck cold start. And some of this literature off the dashboard there. Dodge truck cold start. If it starts, it's great. <laughs> I got it in drive, but it ain't really moving. I do the morning uh, exercise before I go with the Dodge. A little reverse, a little forward, and roll out slowly. Because <clears throat> this this tranny is a little, I can tell it's a little weak. You know, I'm getting up there on mileage there with these things, almost 200,000 miles, so. Uh, it's at borrowed time, pretty much. Let's go about 20 miles an hour at first. The speed limit around here, even though there's no signs, it's 25. Okay, they, they expect you to know that, you know, like living out here. Alright kids, Edward. I should oh I shouldn't say kids. Okay. Alright everybody, there you go. Your channel is for kids. You said the word kids. <laughs> Alright everybody, there you go. I changed the vernacular. It's a brave new world. It's Orwellian. We're putting ourselves on video showing our daily life like the Truman Show. Onward. I parked it low up against the curb just about so the back of the truck drops. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that's got a tear in it. But hey, it's got a, got a valve stem in there. Maybe the inner tube is alright. We'll check it out later. A little copper and brass. Uh, Look like bearings or something. <clears throat> ah, tripod. Look at that. What you got to do is fold it like that, squeeze it together. And you put it right there like that.
kind of early for a saw like that. All right, maybe I gotta crunch all this stuff up or something. In the truck, I accidentally locked the door with my elbow. Ah, one door closed. I didn't have to slam it too hard. It's tall up off the ground. So when I get in the vehicle, I'm kind of sitting on the door and it makes it harder to get in. Got short legs. <sighs> All right. I find myself explaining the same thing over and over. LOL. So yeah, scrapping. a struggle. That's my point. This is a tough dollar. That's a tough buck too. I wouldn't know. No way. I'm not climbing up on the tree. Like that guy? That's a harder job than what I got. I have no sense of balance. Onward. Now for the loading part. <laughs> It's gonna give me a hard time. It wants to be difficult. to do. Maybe I'm getting weaker. That's what I'm starting to think. I don't even think uh, I'm getting weaker rapidly. Like, See, I used to be able to like, just maneuver this thing. Like even a year ago. Today, I'm having like a impossible time. <clears throat> yeah, that's not good for this wood structure, see? Uh, the crappy construction. Oh, 
goes. I don't have a hammer with me to knock that motor off of there. That's what I really need to do. Knock that motor off. satisfactory especially if I, if I put the strap like that I mean about the quarter panels on this Dodge and that they're not even rusted out. Watch. This does not happen to GM and Fords unless they're really falling apart. But watch. As I crank this, watch the see how it's see the gap closing? See that? The quarter panels bow out because, well, if you have a tall structure on here and it's not connected with a beam, I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but let's see how the steel is moving as I go and grab onto this wood here. See that? If it's not latched solidly, this tailgate could burst open and release the scrap load. So, ideally, it would need a welded cage structure and I don't know how to weld. So I'm stuck with, stuck with the cheap wood setup. I'm just showing in my video the the limitations of having said setup. Not looking to improve it. Because it's, if you know, I accidentally, uh, old farmer guy here. Let me put the window down and see what he wants. What's up? How you doing? Okay. Keep you busy? Yeah, no, I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, scrapping and stuff like that. I, I haven't gotten out by the farm there to go and take that thing apart yet. I haven't taken it apart yet. Uh, yep, I'll go there with my impact. Uh, yeah. So I gotta. <clears throat> this is the tool I got to go and take that thing apart. So. Yeah, it's no hurry. So. Powerful. It'll definitely do the job. If anybody questions you being in there, you just tell them a lot of the bunk said it was okay. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, probably like after Thanksgiving, though. Your boy still helping you? Uh, yeah, he's still chasing the girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could get him out here to help me, but... Uh, all right. I'll talk to you. Yeah, someday uh, that place out on 126. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
that was sold. So if I find out who the new owners are, uh, oh okay, get rid of it. So. Oh, they sold it. Yeah, it was sold. So. Oh okay. Yeah. Well, I'll be some checking. So. Yeah. Okay. We'll All see right. Ya. Hopefully they want to get rid of the stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's the... There you go. <laughs> Old farmer guy. Still hounded me about the... Yeah, still hounded me about like the little bit that's left there at the farm, but... I, I, I mean, I, I like that place, but... Doing... Doing the scrapping there by yourself is like, uh, you know. Well, it is what it is. That's my job. Uh, and remember, ring that bell. <laughs>